I, I really need to write out a script for this video. This is... Oh my god. Anyway. I had somebody comment on my Coast TV video the other day, which was uh, a competing platform to YouTube, but instead of paying you cash, it pays you in a cryptocurrency that they have, like their own cryptocurrency, which is called Coase. But I, I seem to be having a hard time pronouncing that, so I'm just going to call them coins for now, for this video. Uh, and they were asking if I was ever able to find a way to, to cash out and get my coins converted into actual money and into my bank account. And the short answer is... Yes, I was able to do that. Coast TV is on the level. It's 100% legit. It's not a scam. Uh, a lot of people had reservations about it, thinking it looked a little scammy, which is per perfectly reasonable. But I'm testing it out, and I'm, I'm letting you know it's not a scam. It's legit. I haven't put any money into it, but I have gotten money out of it, so it's real. Uh, now, the long answer is that this is one of the most frustrating overly complicated, convoluted systems I have ever had to deal with. And I'm just... I think this is like take 25 on this video. Like, I don't even know how many files are on my GoPro right now. I'm recording this. I keep having to stop and start over because it's so complicated and convoluted. And it, a lot of people are just going to think it's not worth trying to do. But if you're uh, tech savvy, I guess, if you're into cryptos and stuff like that, uh, especially if you have a Crypto.com account, uh, then you're already miles ahead of everybody else trying to figure this thing out. Okay, well, first of all, if you want to cash out on the app, you have to get to the minimum amount of coins, which is 500. I think it's 500, 1,000, so on and so on. But it gets a little complicated starting there. Okay, so when you actually earn money on your videos, it deposits it into your main net wallet on Coast TV. And... It doesn't just deposit, deposit it as the coins straight up, it sends it in as vest. Which is like, you know, like having a vested interest or staking crypto if you're familiar with that. Uh, basically having a vest account or having a, an amount vested is what helps you earn more money and helps other people earn more money. And it might be a reason, one of the reasons why it's so complicated to get everything out of here is because Coast TV, they want you to keep all the money in the platform as long as possible. So they can make more money, which makes sense. But uh, anyway, when you get to the minimum amount that you need to withdraw, you have to convert it from Vest to the coins. And that, regardless of the amount of money that you're converting, it takes six weeks. No matter what, it takes six weeks to, re to convert it to the crypto that you can actually withdraw. And let's fast forward six weeks here. Uh, when I had the money, I was ready to withdraw. I went into my crypto wallet, my mainnet wallet here on Coast TV. And if you see these options over here, transfer, deposit, convert, convert, there's no withdrawal. You cannot just directly withdraw into a wallet or something like that. So I emailed the support team at Coast TV several times. Like I had to go to Facebook and try to contact them. I never once got a response from anyone there in their support team. When I did finally get a hold of somebody, it was the, the person who actually invited me to, to the platform to test it out. Uh, I believe he's the CEO. He's he might not be. I don't know exactly what he does there, but he seems to be pretty important, high up in the management. He had some medical issues where he was out for a few weeks, so he wasn't able to help me out right away. And um, yeah, when he finally did respond, he sent me an email with step-by-step -step instructions on how to get your money out of the Coast TV wallet. And the first thing you need to have is a trust wallet, a Binance wallet. So. Uh, go get your get to a, a BNB Binance account, start up a trust wallet. You'll need that because that's the only thing you can withdraw to. Uh, problem is that wallet is completely useless. You can't do anything with it. You can't sell your crypto. You can buy more, but it's pointless because you can't do anything with it. So you're wasting money by buying more in the trust wallet. Uh, but what you can do, which unfortunately it took me because I use Coinbase, uh, so unfortunately it took me 
a long time to figure out how to get the crypto out of the trust wallet into something where I can sell it or and convert into actual money from my bank account. And I use Coinbase, which is not compatible with trust wallet. So if you're using Coinbase and want to try to do this, unfortunately it's not going to work. You're going to have to take extra steps to get it there. Uh, and in trying to get it to Coinbase, I ended up spending a lot of money in conversion fees. Anyway, the it doesn't work with Coinbase, uh, not directly anyway, but it does work with Crypto.com. So if you have a Crypto.com account or you don't have one, you're probably going to need one of those too. Uh, and basically, you withdraw your cos, your cos or whatever, to your trust wallet. You convert that coin into BNB, your Binance, which is the main thing that's on that chain, and then you can send that BNB to your Crypto.com account. And then from there you can withdraw it, or sell it, convert it to another crypto, whatever, withdraw it to your bank account, or in my case send it to my Coinbase account after converting it to something that's compatible. Because uh, the blockchains they use for some reason are just not compa compatible with every other net network. So yes, that's, I, I've probably lost you by now. If you're still watching this, I'm sorry. Uh, but, oh man. Anyway, the first step to getting your money out, after you've converted it, you go to swapcos.contentos.io. You have to go to this where it says BEP2 mainnet. You have to swap that around so it's the opposite mainnet to BEP2. Which BEP is the chain that they're on, which is not compatible with Coinbase, as I was saying. But anyway, you put your trust wallet address in that token swap destination account there, and you hit next. And then what it's going to do there is give you basically just some text of what to put in the Coast TV. It's going to say, it's going to show this, where it says transfer to mainnet, account address, memo. And yeah, basically the account address is swap token, and the memo is your BNB address, your trust wallet address. So uh, once you've got that information that they just sent you, you go to your mainnet wallet on Coast TV, and you hit transfer. And when this screen pops up here, that part that says account address swap token, you put swap token in target account. Not the account you want it to go to, like your, your address or something. You put target account and swap token. Okay? And then in the memo, you put your trust wallet address. And when you hit next, it sends it to them. And they basically take the, the actual uh, crypto out of their platform, off their chain, and send it to your trust wallet address. And then once you're in your Trust Wallet, you can't use Trust Wallet on the computer for some reason. It's mobile only. So let's see here. There we go. Once you're in your Trust Wallet here, uh, as you can see, I spent a lot of money trying to convert these things. And you have to pay fees every time you convert something. And the fees are usually more than what's left over. So I, that $5 in my account there is stuck there. I can't do anything with it. It's, it's theirs. You know, it's just going to sit there. Nobody's ever going to use it. Nobody's ever going to be able to touch it. It's just, it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, because of the amounts of each one of those I have is too small to convert to something else or to withdraw. All these are the ones that I was trying to convert to other cryptos that should have been compatible with, with Coinbase or anything like that, but they're not, which is why I wasted so much money. Once you get your contentos into your, your trust wallet here, you convert it into BNB. Just straight up BNB, nothing else on there, not that Binance USD, but BNB. Once you have that converted, you go up here to where it says send, and you can send that BNB to your crypto.com account, which like it doesn't work with other other things. But once it's in your crypto.com account, you can sell it or hold on to it, whatever you want to do. Sell it, tra transfer it to your fiat wallet, and withdraw it to your bank account. With me personally, since I use Coinbase more than anything else, once I got it there, I converted the BNB to another coin that was convert compatible with Coinbase and sent it to Coinbase because some Coinbase is so much easier to use. Uh, unfortunately, it's not compatible with all this crap. Um, 
So yeah, basic overview here. I'm already 11 minutes in, and I'm not sure if anybody's actually uh, understood the information I'm trying to convey here. So, quick overview of this video. Uh, if you want to withdraw your money from Coast TV, you have to wait six weeks while it converts from Vest to the coin, and then you have to have a trust wallet. And you you have to transfer. You have to go to one website to get some kind of code to put in to your mainnet wallet on Coast TV. And then that mainnet wallet transfers it to your your trust wallet, and then from trust wallet you convert it to BNB from COS from COS to BNB. The BNB then you have to transfer it to your Crypto.com wallet, and then from there you can sell it or withdraw it or whatever you want to do with it. So that is the quick way of explaining how to get your money out of there. And yeah, there you go. So for um, trying to get eighty dollars out of my account. I got about 70 out of it with all the fees trying to figure out what to do. And yeah, a lot of people are not going to think this app is worth it. Uh, I'm going to keep using it because, I mean, I, I need money. So anything I can do to make extra money on the side, that's what I'm doing. So if you're interested in checking it out, look at the description. I'll have a link to sign up. I'll have the email that Alejandro sent me with step-by-step -step instructions. And uh, if you've got any further questions than that, just uh, go to my email, email me or something, and I'll try to explain it better. But this is, oh my god. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go take a nap. <laughs>